In this last step of our video editing strategy streamlining process, we will review our video one last time to catch any errors we may have missed or add any enhancements. So let's start the video again from the beginning and I'll stop it if I see anything I want to change. So I'm going to push play here and I'm just going to watch it from the beginning again. So first we're going to look at how to start a Storyline 3 project in Articulate. So this is what you'd see once you open Articulate. Now if you have the trial version or you actually have a paid version, you should see something similar to this. So we're going to start by starting a new project here, but you could also record your screen or you could import some files like from PowerPoint. If you already have created some slides in PowerPoint, then you can import them into Storyline. But we're going to focus for this course on just creating a new project because most of what we're going to be building is right in Storyline. So I'm going to click on this. When Storyline 3 opens up, it always opens up to the story view first. And we only have one default slide here. But later what you're going to see, and you can see that in the storyboard that you would have downloaded for this example course we're going to build, that later you'll be able to kind of see a kind of like a flow chart for your course that will be built as you go along. And when we do start, we're going to start by creating the layout first, so you'll be able to see that from the get-go. So this is what it will look like. We should probably save this first as a name because right now it's just an untitled. So I'm going to go over here to save as, and I'm just going to call this juggling course example. And then hit save. All right. So that's pretty much all you have to do to just start it. And in the next series of videos, we're going to go through how to create your layout. And then we'll go through step by step for each slide, how to create the animations and put in the text and put in the characters and everything that you need for each slide. All right, so I think that looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna leave it as is. And I won't have to look at this video again because I've done my five step process. I've went through, edited the audio first, and then I added any global video enhancements that we needed to do. And then I went through and edited for mistakes and silence and cut out things that I didn't want. And then we added the zoom and pan type animations. And now we're reviewing it. So after that, I will just have to upload it to my course platform. So I hope these short video examples were helpful for you to streamline your own video editing process. Leave a comment and let us know what videos editing strategies you use.